ever had a conversation that left you feeling a bit down? We've all been there. Today we're delving into the fascinating world of human interactions. Why do certain people have the power to affect our mood negatively? And what can Buddha's teachings tell us about navigating through challenging personalities? Absolutely, conversations can be like roller coasters. Some lift you up, while others might leave you feeling a bit shaken. When it comes to why certain people have the ability to impact our mood negatively, it often boils down to a combination of their energy, communication style, and our own vulnerabilities at that moment. Sometimes it's about clashes in values or conflicting perspectives that create a discordant atmosphere. Now, let's delve into Buddha's teachings, which offer profound insights into navigating through challenging personalities. Buddha emphasized mindfulness and understanding the impermanence of emotions. Applying this in interpersonal interactions, we can learn to observe our reactions without immediate judgment. This allows us to respond thoughtfully rather than react emotionally. Buddha also spoke about compassion, encouraging us to understand that everyone is on their own journey, dealing with their unique struggles. When faced with a challenging personality, approaching them with empathy can create a shift in the dynamic. Rather than taking their behavior personally, we can recognize their struggles and respond with understanding. Additionally, Buddha's teachings on detachment can be valuable. It doesn't mean cutting off emotions, but rather not letting the negativity of others consume our inner peace. By practicing detachment, we can maintain a sense of balance and not be overly affected by external circumstances. In essence, combining mindfulness, compassion, and detachment can be a powerful way to navigate through challenging interactions, drawing inspiration from the timeless wisdom of Buddha's teaching. The connection between Buddha's teachings and handling difficult people lies in the profound insights and practical wisdom offered by his philosophy. Buddha's emphasis on mindfulness, compassion, and detachment becomes particularly relevant when navigating the complexities of human interactions, especially with challenging personality. Mindfulness, as taught by Buddha, encourages us to be fully present in the moment and aware of our thoughts and emotions. Applying this to interactions with difficult people allows us to observe our reactions without immediate judgment. By cultivating awareness, we can choose deliberate responses instead of reacting impulsively, fostering a more balanced and composed approach. Compassion is another key aspect of Buddha's teachings. He urged followers to understand the universal nature of suffering and approach others with empathy. When faced with challenging individuals, practicing compassion involves recognizing that everyone carries their own burdens and struggles. This perspective can soften our judgments and lead to a more understanding and patient response. Moreover, Buddha's teachings on right speech and right action provide practical guidelines for ethical communication and behavior. Applying these principles can contribute to more harmonious interactions and prevent the escalation of conflicts with difficult individuals. One of the central pillars of Buddha's teachings in handling difficult people is the emphasis on understanding rather than pointing fingers. Buddha's wisdom encourages us to cultivate a mindset of compassion and empathy, recognizing that everyone is on their own journey, dealing with their unique challenges. By shifting the focus from blame to understanding, we open the door to compassion. It's about acknowledging that everyone has their own set of experiences, fears and insecurities that shape their actions. This perspective doesn't excuse harmful behavior, but provides a foundation for responding with empathy rather than reacting with hostility. In practical terms, this means approaching difficult people with an open mind, seeking to comprehend their perspectives and acknowledging the common humanity that binds us all. It involves refraining from immediately labeling someone as difficult and instead exploring the underlying causes of their behavior. Buddha's teachings encourage us to look beyond surface, level interactions and delve into the deeper layers of human experience. This understanding, oriented approach fosters a more harmonious and compassionate environment, promoting growth and healing rather than perpetuating a cycle of blame and negativity. 
It's a powerful shift in mindset that can transform not only our interactions with difficult individuals, but also our own well-being and inner peace. Positive personalities can be a source of inspiration and support. Encounters with optimistic, empathetic, and uplifting individuals can uplift our spirits, fostering a positive and encouraging atmosphere. Their enthusiasm may spark motivation, and their supportive nature can create a sense of belonging and connection. On the other hand, challenging personalities can pose hurdles in our journey. Dealing with individuals who are negative, critical, or confrontational can be emotionally draining. However, these encounters also offer opportunities for personal development. They challenge our patience, resilience, and communication skills, pushing us to navigate conflicts and find constructive solutions. The impact of personalities extends beyond individual interactions to influence the collective energy of environments, whether it's the workplace, social circles, or family dynamics. A harmonious blend of personalities can create a vibrant and dynamic community, whereas conflicts arising from clashing personalities may lead to tension and discord. Understanding and adapting to different personalities become essential life skills. It involves developing emotional intelligence, empathy, and effective communication to build positive relationships. Learning to appreciate diversity in personalities enhances our capacity to collaborate, fostering teamwork and creativity. Trust and respect are foundational elements in the architecture of meaningful and healthy relationships. They serve as the cornerstones upon which genuine connections are built whether in personal or professional spheres. Trust is akin to a delicate thread that, once broken, can be challenging to mend. It involves relying on others with the confidence that they will act with integrity and consideration. In the absence of trust, relationships can become fragile and strained. Building trust requires consistency, transparency, and a commitment to keeping one's word. It forms the basis for emotional safety and mutual reliance, fostering a sense of security in the dynamics between individuals. Respect, on the other hand, is the soil in which healthy relationships flourish. It involves recognizing the inherent worth and dignity of others, regardless of differences in opinions or background. Respect cultivates an environment where individuals feel heard, valued, and understood. It lays the groundwork for open communication, collaboration, and the appreciation of diversity. The synergy between trust and respect is powerful. Trust often emerges from a foundation of mutual respect, and conversely, trust enhances and deepens respect over time. Together, they create a robust framework that allows individuals to navigate challenges, communicate openly, and foster a positive atmosphere in both personal and professional contexts. The importance of trust and respect cannot be overstated. They contribute to the creation of strong, resilient bonds that withstand the tests of time and adversity. When trust and respect are present, relationships become more than just interactions. They become sources of support, understanding, and shared growth. Today, we're delving into the fascinating exploration of human diversity by discussing 10 distinct types of people. Each archetype brings a unique flavor to the rich tapestry of personalities that color our world. From the cheerleader who spreads positivity like confetti to the skeptic who questions every assumption, these archetypes offer a glimpse into the myriad ways individuals navigate the complexities of life. So, buckle up for an intriguing journey through the landscape of human character, where we'll meet 10 fascinating types each contributing their own hues to the vibrant palette of humanity. Number one, the manipulative individual is someone who seeks to influence or control others through deceptive and cunning means, often for personal gain. Their tactics can be subtle and insidious, making it challenging for others to recognize the manipulation until its effects become apparent. Here are some key characteristics and tactics associated with manipulative individuals. Deception. Manipulators are skilled in presenting a false image or distorting the truth to serve their agenda. They may use lies, half-truths, 
or omission of information to manipulate perceptions. Emotional manipulation. Playing on the emotions of others is a common tactic. This can involve guilt, tripping, feigning vulnerability, or creating a sense of obligation to elicit a desired response. Charm. Manipulative individuals often possess charismatic and charming personalities. They use charm to disarm potential suspicions and create a facade of likability. Guilt and pity. Manipulators may exploit a person's sense of guilt or sympathy, making it difficult for the victim to resist their requests or demands. Conditional affection. Manipulators may offer affection, praise, or support, but it comes with conditions. They use these positive reinforcements strategically to influence behavior. Silent treatment. Manipulators may employ tactics like the silent treatment to exert control. By withdrawing attention or affection, they create a sense of insecurity and dependence. Playing the victim. Manipulators often portray themselves as victims, deflecting responsibility for their actions. This tactic garners sympathy and deflects attention away from their manipulative behavior. Selective information sharing. Manipulators control the narrative by carefully choosing what information to share and what to withhold. This allows them to shape perceptions in their favor. Recognizing manipulation is a crucial skill in maintaining healthy relationships and protecting one's well-being. By understanding the signs and tactics employed by manipulative individuals, individuals can empower themselves to establish and enforce boundaries effectively. One, protecting emotional well-being, recognizing manipulation. Allows individuals to safeguard their emotional well-being. Manipulative tactics such as gaslighting or emotional manipulation can take a toll on mental health. Awareness enables individuals to identify when their emotions are being manipulated and take steps to prioritize their own mental and emotional health. Two, preserving autonomy. Manipulation often seeks to undermine an individual's autonomy and decision-making abilities. Recognizing manipulative tactics helps individuals reclaim control over their choices and actions, preserving their independence and preventing undue influence. Three, strengthening relationships. Awareness of manipulation fosters healthier relationships. By recognizing manipulative behavior in oneself or others, individuals can address issues openly and honestly. This transparency is essential for building trust and maintaining authentic connections. Four, establishing boundaries. Setting boundaries is a key aspect of protecting oneself from manipulation. Clearly defined boundaries communicate to others what behavior is unacceptable, and help prevent manipulation from taking root. It's essential to communicate and enforce these boundaries consistently. Five, empowering communication. Recognizing manipulation empowers individuals to communicate assertively. When someone is aware of manipulative tactics, they can express their needs, concerns, and boundaries with confidence. Effective communication becomes a tool for preventing manipulation and fostering healthier interactions. Six, building self-confidence. Understanding manipulation contributes to building self-confidence. Recognizing and addressing manipulation reinforces a sense of self-worth and self-efficacy. This, in turn, empowers individuals to navigate relationships with a greater sense of agency. In summary, recognizing manipulation is not just about protecting oneself. It's about cultivating healthier relationships, both personally and professionally. Setting and enforcing boundaries, coupled with a keen awareness of manipulative tactics, form a powerful toolkit for fostering positive interactions and maintaining a sense of personal agency in the complex web of human relationships. Number two, the chronic criticizer and gossip monger are individuals who habitually engage in negative communication patterns. Impacting both personal and professional and professional environments. Chronic criticizer. This individual consistently finds fault and expresses disapproval, 
often without constructive feedback. Their criticism may range from personal attributes to professional endeavors. Chronic criticizers tend to focus on the negative aspects, creating an atmosphere of constant judgment and dissatisfaction. Gossip monger. The gossip monger thrives on spreading rumors, sharing information, often embellished or inaccurate about others. They indulge in conversations that fuel speculation and undermine trust. Gossip mongers contribute to a toxic environment by perpetuating negativity and eroding relationships. Negativity they bring, damaging relationships. Chronic criticism and gossip constrain relationships, creating an atmosphere of mistrust and unease. People may become reluctant to share information or collaborate, hindering teamwork and camaraderie, creating divisions. Gossip and chronic criticism often lead to factions within a group. Individuals may form alliances based on shared grievances, creating an environment of tension and conflict, hindering growth. The negative atmosphere generated by chronic criticizers and gossip mongers can impede personal and professional growth. It stifles innovation and discourages individuals from taking risks or sharing new ideas. Importance of positive communication and setting limits. Fostering a positive culture. Positive communication fosters a culture of trust, collaboration, and support. Encouraging constructive feedback over constant criticism creates an environment where individuals feel valued and motivated to contribute. Building trust. Positive communication builds trust within relationships and teams. When individuals engage in open and respectful dialogue, it strengthens connections and allows for more effective collaboration. Setting limits. Establishing boundaries and setting limits on negative behaviors is crucial. Addressing chronic criticism and gossip head on communicates that such behaviors are unacceptable and ensures a healthier environment for everyone. In summary, addressing the negativity brought by chronic criticizers and gossip mongers involves promoting positive communication, setting clear boundaries, and fostering an environment where individuals feel empowered to contribute without fear of constant judgment or rumor. Creating a culture of respect and encouragement is essential for building strong, cohesive relationships and thriving communities. Number three, superficial friendliness. Superficial friendliness refers to interactions that appear warm and amicable on the surface, but lack genuine depth or meaningful connection. It often involves maintaining a facade of friendliness without truly engaging on a more personal or authentic level. Impact of not having deep connections, emotional void, superficial relationships can leave individuals feeling emotionally unfulfilled. Without deep connections, there may be a sense of loneliness or a lack of support during challenging times. Shallow interactions. Surface level connections often revolve around small talk and casual exchanges, missing the depth that comes with sharing vulnerabilities, dreams, and genuine emotion. Limited understanding. Without deep connections, individuals may struggle to truly understand each other. This can lead to misunderstandings, misinterpretations, and a lack of empathy in the relationship. Lack of trust. Deep connections foster trust, and without this foundation, there may be skepticism and uncertainty in the relationship. This lack of trust can hinder genuine collaboration and cooperation. Tips on dealing with surface, level relationships. Be realistic. Accept that not all relationships need to be deep and meaningful. Some connections will naturally remain on a superficial level, and that's okay. Set boundaries. Establish clear boundaries to protect your emotional well-being. Recognize when a relationship is superficial and avoid investing excessive emotional energy in such connection. Seek like-minded individuals. Look for people who share similar values and interests. Common ground can be a bridge to deeper connections, even in initially superficial relationships. Initiate meaningful conversations. Take the initiative to steer conversations towards more substantial topics. 
Share your thoughts, feelings, and experiences to encourage a deeper level of interaction. Invest time. Building deep connections requires time and effort. Invest your time in those relationships that hold the potential for meaningful growth and be patient as connections evolve. Practice active listening. Actively listen to others. Show genuine interest and ask thoughtful questions. This demonstrates your commitment to understanding them beyond surface. Level interactions. Be mindful of nonverbal cues. Pay attention to nonverbal cues in interactions. Body language, tone of voice, and other subtle indicators can provide insights into the depth of a relationship. Remember, not every relationship needs to be deep, and some connections may serve specific purposes in your life. By being mindful, setting boundaries, and fostering genuine interactions where possible, you can navigate surface, level relationships with authenticity and intention. Number four, disengaged listener. A disengaged listener is someone who, during a conversation, appears mentally or emotionally detached, showing minimal interest or involvement in what the speaker is saying. This type of listener may exhibit signs of distraction, lack of focus, or a general disinterest in actively participating in the dialogue. Feeling of talking to someone who isn't fully present. Engaging in a conversation with a disengaged listener can be disheartening and frustrating. It often feels like speaking into a void where your words seem to fall on deaf ears. The lack of genuine interest or responsiveness creates a sense of isolation, making the interaction feel one-sided and unfulfilling. Importance of active listening, building connections. Active listening is fundamental to building strong connections in any relationship. It communicates to the speaker that their thoughts and feelings are valued, fostering a sense of understanding and connection, fostering empathy. Actively listening allows individuals to step into the shoes of the speaker, promoting empathy. It enables a deeper understanding of perspectives, emotions, and experiences, strengthening the emotional bond between individuals. Enhancing communication. Active listening contributes to effective communication. By fully engaging in a conversation, individuals can grasp the nuances of the message, reducing the lilyhood of misunderstandings and misinterpretation. Resolving conflicts. Active listening plays a crucial role in conflict resolution. It allows individuals to truly hear each other's concerns, facilitating a collaborative approach to finding solutions and common ground. Cultivating trust. Trust is a foundational element of any healthy relationship. Active listening builds trust by demonstrating a genuine interest in the well-being and perspectives of others creating a safe space for open communication, promoting mental presence. Being mentally present in a conversation demonstrates respect and consideration. It shows that you value the time and effort the speaker is investing in sharing their thoughts, creating a positive and affirming communication environment. In essence, the importance of active listening cannot be overstated. It goes beyond the act of hearing words. It involves understanding, empathizing, and fully engaging in the exchange of ideas and emotion. By actively participating in conversations, individuals contribute to the creation of meaningful connections and foster a culture of mutual respect and understanding. Number five, individual lacking empathy. An individual lacking empathy is someone who struggles to understand or share in the feelings, emotions, or perspectives of others. This lack of empathy can manifest in an inability to recognize or respond to the emotional needs and experiences of those around them. Challenges of sharing feelings with them. Misunderstanding. When sharing feelings with someone lacking empathy, there's a high likelihood of being misunderstood or having your emotions downplayed. This can lead to frustration and a sense of isolation. Lack of support. Empathy is a key component of providing emotional support. Individuals lacking empathy may struggle to offer the comfort or encouragement needed during challenging times, 
leaving the person sharing their feelings feeling unsupported, emotional distance. The lack of empathy can create emotional distance in relationships. When one person is unable to connect with the emotions of another, it hinders the depth and intimacy of the relationship. Difficulty in connection. Empathy is a foundational element in building connections. Without it, relationships may struggle to develop a sense of closeness and mutual understanding, making it challenging to forge meaningful connection. Importance of understanding and setting limits. Recognizing limitations. Understanding that an individual lacks empathy helps set realistic expectations. Recognizing their limitations allows for a more objective assessment of what emotional support or understanding they can provide. Setting emotional boundaries. Setting limits becomes crucial in preserving one's emotional well-being. It involves establishing boundaries on how much emotional sharing or vulnerability is appropriate in the relationship, protecting oneself from potential emotional harm. Effective communication. Communicating one's needs and feelings to the individual lacking empathy is important. Clearly expressing the desire for understanding or support can open avenues for more effective communication, fostering better understanding, cultivating empathy. Encouraging the development of empathy in individuals lacking this trait is a long-term goal. This can involve gently pointing out the impact of their responses on others and providing opportunities for them to practice empathy. While it's challenging to change someone's inherent capacity for empathy, understanding and setting limits can help individuals navigate relationships with those lacking this trait. By recognizing these limitations and taking steps to protect emotional well-being, individuals can foster healthier connections and seek support from those who can offer the empathy and understanding they need. Number 6. Constant Provoker a constant provoker is an individual who habitually stirs things up, intentionally provoking reactions or conflicts in various situations. They may engage in provocative behavior, comments, or actions with the aim of eliciting strong emotional responses from others. Tendency to stir things up, seeking attention. Constant provokers often seek attention and validation through their provocative behavior. Stirring things up can be a way for them to feel noticed or to assert a sense of control in their interactions. Creating drama. Provoking reactions can be a means of creating drama or chaos, either for entertainment or to divert attention from their own issues. It may serve as a distraction from personal challenges they may be facing. Testing boundaries. Constant provokers may push boundaries to gauge how others will react. It can be a way of testing the limits of relationships and observing how people handle conflict or stress. Power Dynamics Provocation can be a tool for establishing power dynamics within a group. By eliciting reactions, they may aim to assert dominance or control over others. Strategies for Dealing with Provocations Stay calm and collected. Maintaining a calm and collected demeanor is crucial when dealing with a constant provoker. Responding with composure can disrupt their attempts to incite strong emotional reactions. Choose your battles. Not every provocation requires a response. Choosing which provocations to address and which to ignore can prevent unnecessary conflict and drain your energy. Use humor. Responding with humor can diffuse tension and disarm a constant provoker. It shifts the dynamic and can take the wind out of their sails. Seek understanding. Sometimes understanding the underlying motivations for provocative behavior can be enlightening. It doesn't excuse the behavior, but it can provide insight into the root causes. Importance of maintaining inner peace. Preserving emotional well-being. Constant provocations can take a toll on emotional well-being. Prioritizing inner peace helps protect mental and emotional health in the face of challenging interaction. Preventing escalation. Responding to provocations with inner peace prevents the situation from escalating. 
It allows individuals to navigate conflicts with a clear mind and avoid contributing to the chaos, fostering resilience. Cultivating inner peace fosters resilience. It empowers individuals to bounce back from provocations, maintaining a sense of self-control and emotional stability, promoting healthy relationships. Maintaining inner peace contributes to healthier relationships. It establishes a foundation for constructive communication and conflict resolution, fostering more positive interactions. In conclusion, dealing with a constant provoker involves a combination of strategic responses, setting boundaries and prioritizing inner peace. By navigating provocations with a calm and collected mindset, individuals can disrupt the provoker's intentions and contribute to a more positive and harmonious environment. Number seven, perpetually troubled individual. A perpetually troubled individual is someone who consistently experiences and expresses distress, difficulties, or negativity in various aspects of their life. This person may face ongoing challenges, whether emotional, relational, or situational, leading them to adopt a persistently troubled mindset. Challenge of dealing with constant negativity, emotional drain. Interacting with a perpetually troubled individual can be emotionally draining. The constant negativity may impact one's own emotional well-being, leading to increased stress or feelings of helplessness. Difficulty finding solutions. A perpetually troubled individual may struggle to focus on finding solutions, often dwelling on problems without actively seeking ways to address them. This can create a sense of frustration and stagnation in relationships. Impact on relationships. The perpetual negativity can strain relationships, as others may find it challenging to maintain empathy and support over an extended period. It may lead to a sense of distance and difficulty in connecting emotionally. Tips on setting limits and encouraging solutions. Establish boundaries. Set clear boundaries on the extent to which you can engage with the perpetually troubled individual. Determine what level of support you can provide without compromising your own well-being. Encourage positive action. Instead of dwelling solely on problems, encourage the troubled individual to take positive actions toward solutions. Offer support in brainstorming and implementing steps to address the challenges they are facing. Express empathy. While setting limits, express empathy for their struggles. Let them know that you understand their difficulties and emotions. Acknowledge their feelings while encouraging a shift toward problem solving. Suggest professional help. If the perpetual troubles seem overwhelming or are impacting the individual's mental health, suggest seeking professional assistance. A therapist or counselor can provide valuable support and guidance. Focus on solutions. Redirect conversations towards solutions and positive outcomes. Ask questions that prompt them to think about potential steps forward, fostering a more solution-oriented mindset. Maintain your well-being. It's crucial to prioritize your own well-being. While providing support, ensure that you are not sacrificing your mental and emotional health. This may involve taking breaks, seeking your own support network, or seeking professional guidance importance of encouraging solutions. Break the cycle. Encouraging solutions helps break the cycle of perpetual negativity. It shifts the focus from dwelling on problems to actively seeking ways to improve the situation. Promote personal growth. Supporting the perpetually troubled individual in finding solutions contributes to personal growth. It empowers them to take control of their circumstances and develop resilience in the face of challenges. Strengthen relationships. Focusing on solutions fosters a more constructive and positive dynamic in relationships. It promotes mutual support and collaboration, strengthening the bonds between individuals. In conclusion, dealing with a perpetually troubled individual involves setting limits to protect your well-being while actively encouraging a shift towards solutions. By fostering a solution-oriented mindset, Individuals can work together to navigate challenges and create a more positive and supportive environment. Number eight, two-faced individual. 
A two-faced individual is someone who presents different personas or attitudes in different situations or with different people. This person may appear friendly and supportive in one context while harboring negative intentions or behaviors behind the scenes or behaviors behind the scene. The term two-faced reflects the inconsistency and lack of authenticity in their interactions, confusion and uncertainty they bring. Mixed messages. Interacting with a two-faced individual often involves receiving mixed messages. Their actions may not align with their words, leading to confusion about their true intentions or feelings. Trust issues. The dual nature of a two-faced individual can create trust issues. It becomes challenging to rely on their consistency or predict how they will behave in various situations, fostering an environment of uncertainty, difficulty in building relationships. Establishing genuine connections becomes difficult when dealing with a two-faced individual. The lack of authenticity hinders the development of trust and mutual understanding, essential elements in building meaningful relationships. Importance of being genuine in relationships Trust and Authenticity Genuine relationships are built on trust and authenticity. Being true to oneself and others fosters an environment where individuals can rely on each other and feel secure in the relationship. Open Communication Authenticity promotes open communication. When individuals are genuine, they are more likely to express their thoughts, feelings, and concerns openly, creating a space for honest and meaningful dialogue. Building lasting connections. Genuine connections stand the test of time. Relationships founded on authenticity are more likely to endure challenges and transitions, creating a foundation for lasting and meaningful connection. Encouraging mutual respect. Being genuine contributes to mutual respect. When individuals are honest about their intentions and values, it establishes a baseline for understanding and respecting each other's perspectives, healthy boundaries. Authenticity allows individuals to establish and respect healthy boundaries in relationships. It prevents the manipulation or exploitation that can arise from hidden agendas or dual personas. In conclusion, the concept of a two-faced individual brings to light the challenges and uncertainties that can arise in relationships when authenticity is lacking. Emphasizing the importance of being genuine in relationships underscores the value of trust, open communication, and the building of lasting connections based on mutual respect and understanding. Genuine interactions lay the groundwork for healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Number nine, toxic personality. A toxic personality refers to an individual who exhibits harmful behaviors, attitudes, or traits that negatively impact those around them. These individuals may engage in manipulation, criticism, and other destructive behaviors, creating an unhealthy and draining environment for those in their vicinity. Impact. Emotional drain. Interacting with someone with a toxic personality can be emotionally draining. Their negative energy and behaviors can affect the mental well-being of others, leading to stress, anxiety, or feelings of inadequacy, undermined confidence. Toxic individuals may engage in behaviors that undermine the confidence and self-esteem of those around them. Constant criticism, belittling, or manipulation can erode a person's sense of self-worth. Strained relationships, toxic behaviors, strained relationships, creating tension and conflict. The toxicity may lead to a breakdown in communication, trust issues, and an overall deterioration of the quality of relationships. Impact on physical health. Prolonged exposure to toxic personalities can take a toll on physical health. Stress and anxiety related to toxic interactions may contribute to issues such as headaches, digestive problems, or sleep disturbances. Strategies for protecting oneself from toxic behavior. Set boundaries. Establish clear boundaries to protect yourself from toxic behavior. Clearly communicate what behaviors are unacceptable and be firm in enforcing these limits. Limit interaction. When possible, limit your exposure to toxic individuals. 
Minimize contact and interactions to reduce the negative impact on your mental and emotional well-being. Seek support. Build a support network of friends, family, or colleagues who understand the challenges of dealing with toxic personalities. Having a supportive circle provides validation and emotional support. Maintain perspective. Recognize that the toxic behavior is a reflection of the individual's issues, not a reflection of your worth. Maintaining this perspective can help mitigate the emotional impact of their actions. Importance of self-care. Preserving mental health. Self-care is essential for preserving mental health. Engage in activities that bring joy, relaxation, and a sense of fulfillment to counteract the negative effects of toxic interactions. Setting priorities. Prioritize your well-being by setting boundaries on the time and energy you invest in toxic relationships. Focus on activities and relationships that contribute positively to your life. Promoting balance. Incorporate balance into your life by balancing work, relationships, and personal time. Striking a healthy balance ensures that toxic interactions do not dominate your overall well. Belling. In conclusion, protecting oneself from a toxic personality involves setting boundaries, practicing assertiveness, limiting interaction, seeking support, and prioritizing self-care. Emphasizing the importance of self-care is key to maintaining mental, emotional, and physical health in the face of challenging relationships. Number 10. Materialistic or greedy individual. A materialistic or greedy individual is someone who places excessive importance on possessions, wealth, and material goods. Their primary focus is often on acquiring and accumulating material wealth, and they may measure success or happiness primarily in terms of material possessions or financial status. Focus on possessions and wealth. Measure of success. Materialistic individuals often measure their success and worth by the quantity and quality of their possessions. The pursuit of wealth becomes a central aspect of their identity. Comparison and competition. The materialistic mindset often involves comparing oneself to others based on material possessions. There is a constant desire to outdo others in terms of wealth or possessions, fostering a competitive and sometimes envious atmosphere. Temporary satisfaction. The pursuit of material wealth can provide temporary satisfaction, but it often leads to a cycle of continuous craving for more. The satisfaction gained from acquiring possessions tends to be fleeting. Impact on relationships. Materialism can strain relationships as the focus on possessions may overshadow emotional connections. Greediness in particular can lead to selfish behaviors that prioritize personal gain over the well-being of others. Tips on finding happiness beyond material things. Invest in experiences. Redirect the emphasis from acquiring material possessions to investing in experiences. Experiences often bring more lasting joy and fulfillment than the accumulation of material goods. Develop meaningful connections. Prioritize building and nurturing meaningful relationships. Connection and social bonds contribute significantly to overall well-being and happiness. Practice mindfulness. Engage in mindfulness practices to stay present and appreciative of the current moment. Mindfulness helps reduce the constant craving for more and encourages contentment with the present. Simplify your life. Declutter your physical space and simplify your lifestyle. A minimalist approach can help shift the focus from accumulating possessions to enjoying a more intentional and unburdened life. In our exploration today on A Word with the Wise, we've delved into the intricate dynamics of human interactions, unveiling the diverse personalities that color our social landscape. From the two-faced individual to the perpetually troubled soul, we've navigated the complexities of human relationships. We've emphasized the significance of understanding, kindness, and mindfulness in fostering healthier connections. Recognizing and navigating challenging personalities with empathy allows us to build bridges rather than barriers. The power of kindness transcends differences. 
creating a tapestry of positive interactions that uplift not only ourselves, but the world around us. As we conclude our journey on A Word with the Wise, I want to express my gratitude for joining this exploration of human interactions. Remember, each interaction is an opportunity to sow the seeds of understanding and kindness, contributing to a world where positivity thrives. May you continue to engage with others mindfully, nurture personal growth, and spread the transformative power of empathy. Thank you for being a part of this journey, and may your path be adorned with wisdom, compassion, and the joy of genuine connection. Until we meet again, take care and be kind to yourself and others.